Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm going to be sharing David Schwartz 2024 predictions for XRP and the XRP ledger. We're going to be taking a gaze into David Schwartz crystal ball and learn what he sees is coming for the 2024 year. I'm going to be focusing on one of these predictions in this video because it's one of the favorite topics of the Zen Lounge the past two years. And that is his prediction number two. So prediction number two from Mr. David Schwartz is real world asset tokenization. He believes it will drive the blockchain economy led by real estate and commodities. Tokenized real, real world assets on the XRP ledger will enhance collateralized loans, improve interoperability, and attract institutional adoption. Reshaping the financial sector, XRPL will be a leading blockchain enabling these use cases. He goes deeper into it in this article he posted on December 19th. And it's labeled a visionary outlook into the future of blockchain. So I'm going to attach this in the description below. Uh, I'm not going to read this whole post for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on just this section on RWAs. So he also wrote this. As the industry has continued to grow, RWAs, which stands for real world assets, have remained somewhat of a buzzword, leading many people to believe that it's simply a trend for investors who speculate. David Schwartz disagrees. Real world assets are a driving force of blockchain economy with real estate, commodities, treasuries, and bonds being the leading use cases. My estimation is that centralized lending platforms will increasingly use tokenized real world assets for collateralized loans, enhancing lending with increased security and efficiency. As the industry improves in terms of interoperability among blockchains, we may well see smoother transaction and better liquidity for tokenized assets. The most significant impact of this will be seen by institutional adoption of real world asset tokenization. This shift could see the merging of traditional finance with blockchain technology, attracting new investment and reshaping the financial sector. Our XRP Ledger will be a leading blockchain that will enable these use cases and streamline transactions, enhance transparency, and increase access to these critical markets. So they're really positioning XRPL to be a leader in RWAs, David Schwartz is saying. And um, uh, let me move over to some other news. So, you know, that is his section on RWAs. I strongly recommend uh, reading through the whole report yourself. I want to get through to some more Ripple news because Ripple has been added to the Central Bank of Ireland's virtual asset service provider register. So Ripple is now an official partner with the Central Bank of Ireland. I mean, you can't get bigger than a partner with the Central Bank. People realize how massive this is. It looks like XRP in 2024 could be you know really ready to spread its wings and rise like the phoenix like so many people have said it would so not only do we have this news that they are partnered with the central bank of ireland we have to scroll down and re remind ourselves what happened in november so what happened in november in november 2023 the dubai financial service authority the dfsa approved the digital asset xrp for use within the dubai international financial center so what does that move actually mean? Well, that move means that licensed virtual asset firms within the DIFC will now be able to incorporate XRP, the native asset of XRP ledger, into their new virtual asset service. As a key builder and, and user of the XRP ledger, Ripple views this approval as having the potential to unlock new regional payments and other virtual asset use cases on the XRP ledger. So let's pause real quick. What happened in Dubai in November? Ripple swell. Remember on Ripple swell when Brad Garlinghouse shouted out uh, Sologenic for doing interesting and innovative things on the XRP ledger. So they're talking about basically potentially that here, in my opinion, because Sologenic also out of Dubai and they're doing other use cases on the XRP ledger. And uh, Sologenic just wrote a report about the tokenization in private equity and how Sologenic could play a role in that and how uh, it's a whole report here I'll also include in the description. But let me go back here because now we have Central Bank of Ireland, we have Dubai, uh, so much more that 
I'm not going to talk about in this video, but we have to also remember what happened in 2023 is that XRP is not labeled a security. It won the court case against the SEC, and uh, it's a safe it's safe from that. And um, so in 2024 in the United States, XRP basically is one of the most uh, compliant cryptos in the United States and also in Dubai. And now Ripple is partnered with the Central Bank of Ireland. It's huge. So uh, they talk about tokenization and private equity markets. I'm going to skim through this and talk about, you know, Sologenic. So let's scroll down. So Sologenic's role in the field of asset tokenization, particularly in private equity, aligns well with the growing trend of leveraging blockchain technology to transform traditional investment models. Sologenic, a sophisticated ecosystem built on XRP Ledger, provides an innovative platform for tokenization of wide range of assets, including private equity. So we always talk about the new stuff with Sologenic, but we forget about the roots of it. So the Sologenic tokenization asset platform is already done and completed. Uh, there's a demo already available on Sologenic.com that you could sample. And this demo shows you that Sologenic ecosystem has the ability to tokenize non-blockchain assets such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, potentially private equity. This process involves converting these assets into digital tokens on the blockchain, enabling them to be traded on over 30 global exchanges against cryptocurrency. So let's pause real quick and check out this demo that they already have live. So to find this demo, you actually have to go to Sologenic.com. Sologenic.com is the regulated branch of Sologenic. Sologenic.org is the decentralized branch. So when you go to Sologenic.com, you see the advanced tokenization solution for institutions, and you could actually try a demo. You could create an account and basically go through um, uh, the tokenized asset trading platform. And... Uh, I'm not going to log in right now, but you guys should do it and see how it all looks because that product is already done and ready and waiting for them to acquire basically the right app, the, the right license to be able to utilize that platform. Uh, they talk a lot, a lot more, but um, they're talking here about how Sologenic is working within the regulatory frameworks. They're trying to, um, you know, adhere to all the security and compliance laws so that Sologenic could be, you know, uh, compliant in the future. Michael McCaffrey, business development at Sologenic has this quote that I'll share with you guys and we'll finish up here soon. I'm observing a rapidly growing trend in tokenization of private equity. It's evident that private equity fund managers are increasingly recognizing the need for enhanced liquidity, fractional ownership opportunities, and streamline access to a broader pool of investors. Tokenization presents a transformative solution to address these crucial requirements, paving the way for more dynamic, accessible private equity landscape. So that's a pretty interesting quote. And Sologenic's tokenization solutions when applied to private equity could significantly contribute to reshaping the investment landscape. With this robust technology and versatile platform, Sologenic is well positioned to be a key player aligning the global trends towards more accessible, transparent, and liquidity investment opportunities. As the trends of tokenization continues to mature, Sologenic's role in the field could become increasingly pivotal, leading to broader adoption and innovation in the RWA sector. Remember this, I also left this out. In Bob Ross's recent podcast he did with the Crypto News Channel, he talks about how um, Ripple actually approached the Sologenic team to build certain tokenization tools for, uh, for um, you know, the XRP ledger and also the CBDC toolkit. So um, when you start adding up all these dots, you know, Dubai being approved, because what do you need to do to open up your Sologenic wallet? You need XRP to activate your Sologenic wallet. So in Dubai, they could easily activate their Sologenic wallet with XRP because it's approved by the du Dubai Financial Service Authority. And that's where Ripple Swell was at, where Brad Garlinghouse just shouted out Mr. Bob. Well, not Bob, Sologenic platform. So check this out. If you're new to Sologenic, it's important to remember where it all started. It all started with their tokenization platform that they're uh, 
been working really hard to get all the license to launch. So that way you could basically tokenize non-blockchain assets onto the XRP ledger. Um, what else do I have to share with you? We had some updates to the clawback amendment. So there's been some new voters. We're still at 17 voters for the automated market maker, XLS30. So I hope the validators start voting. The clawback is essential for tokenization on the XRPL and also automated market makers. So in order for a lot of David Schwartz predictions to come true, we really need to see these two amendments pass. Another big prediction that I left out is there is another big proposal coming to the XRP ledger that not that many people are talking about, which is his third prediction is DID, decentralized identity. So soon XLS40 will come up as a proposal that validators could vote on. And what will this be doing, guys? This will be doing this. Decentralized identity adoption will revolutionize privacy on the blockchain. Uh, DEXs empowered by decentralized identity will see increased institutional volume, driving growth and liquidity in decentralized finance. The proposed XLS40 amendment introduces DID capabilities to the XRP ledger, making a new era in privacy, security, and innovation. So we also have XLS40 coming up for vote, but I would love to see the AMMs and clawbacks pass and get approved so we could have new innovation on the XRP ledger for 2024. So everybody, Hopefully you enjoyed this video of me talking about Ripple, Sologenic, XRP Ledger. I make a lot of content on this topics. Please uh, check out the links below. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and continue to uh, support this channel. And I'll continue to pump out these videos for you guys. So everybody have an awesome day and I'll see you next time and peace.